Sick. So this took about took about one week to get here. Shout out to Jack Lee. Make sure you guys hit him up for all the sick parts, all the rep, the good rep parts, because this is like top-notch quality. It's super smooth. Check this out. A piece that I've always wanted to try out but never have pulled the trigger because of the price. Got the Jack Lee flush mount. It's got these studs in here so you can drill holes in your trunk and mount this, hard mount it. So that's most likely what I'll be doing. But right now, I'm gonna throw some paint on this girl if I have any black left. Plus you did? Nah. Oh, it's empty. Well, I do have some wrap on the way that's going to be here Thursday. And that was to try to finish up the bumpers. But I might need to throw it on this guy now. Or I'll just buy a can of paint. That might be the move. Hey, you snag yourself one of these, five bucks. We're up the Yakuza. Paint acquired. on this side. Hmm. I'll let that sit. Resand, respray. Lighter coats. dry overnight do another coat it's pretty much covered up try to fix those drips guess one a little heavy on that side see what we can do and then install I did order these guys but they're on back order said something about possibly May and I was gonna get these guys ordered these and had to wait a week to get a response that said they're on back order so Whenever these are available on the spot, on demand, 
I'll probably make a purchase on these guys. I don't remember if I showed off this rep yet, but I found this guy on the side of the street. And I was like, damn, that would make a good chair. And this shows you exactly how the reps break if you hit something. This guy, this was by a train track. It's a, like a really bad area, so. This dude hit something. That's crazy. The good thing about these guys, if I mess this up with the barrel, I'll just replace that, replacing the whole damn thing. Plus you get the experience to build that like a Lego. I'm about four coats in on this. So I just gotta let that dry. If I had the hair dryer, that'd be a lot quicker. So I'm gonna do a little, a little cleaning. Kill some time, get rid of some crap, and we'll move on. And this will be done pretty quick because Monday, Monday the NPC drop forks come in. Be sick. So I'm a, it's a two inch drop. So I'm gonna raise this guy up two inches when they come in, and that should give me that extra shock travel, which will make you stop from banging around up here. So make your upper control arms sit a little lower so they're not gonna bang. If that's an issue that you guys have. But we're gonna put that shit to the test and see how good NPC two inch drops work. So I'm gonna drill into the bump to the trunk, but I'm gonna seal it with this just so I don't get any excess extra water going in through the holes. I'm just a little scared that that 3M is just gonna rip the paint off this and come right off. So might as well have that extra safety that's provided with these. Throw these on, throw some uh, 3M around this to seal it, and maybe do a strip right here. And we'll see how it does. That'll definitely rip up this wrap, but that's all right. Good excuse for another color change. Just realized there's mounting holes, little indents right there. It's that guy. And then right there. You can kind of see it right there. Let's pray this works. Maybe don't trust those holes. This guy's off. Well, after a few ovaling of the holes, I was able to slide the, the bolt to get it positioned right. So for right now, I'm just gonna bolt it up, uh, 3M tape that later on until I get this sitting even on both sides. So I also have this from the mirrors. So I'm gonna try to use this for the water sealing. 
for these guys. This actually might work pretty good. That's how it's looking. Here we go. So that rubber's in a flat now once I bolt it down. Should give it a good seal. There's the other one. Sick. Check it out, my cleaning lady showed up. <laughs> no, your candy lady. <laughs> <laughs> hey, parents know. Easter candy. It's not chocolate. That goes with Halloween, too. If you don't want to lose your 10, paint that girl red. Lorenzo wasn't here with that. I don't know if he sold them. So fitment is a little funky, it's a little off. Slight gapping over here and over there, looks like. You got a little gap right here. Well, that's all from him shaving and cutting and trying to make it perfect. Can't complain about that. Same with this side. We got a little, a little bulge here, but I think that's because this hole needs to be a little higher up. But here we go, moment of truth. Let's get this out of here. I'm Audi like Trouty. Look at this piece of shit. <laughs> Ooh, you wanna see this? Damn, this trunk is heavy now. Custom t-shirts. Shout out to the wife. Skill. I like it. Careful, those are metal shavings. Those are metal shavings. Oh, we'll get a little gap in the middle. Top middle. 3M will fix that though. Perfect. This, I don't want to pull it out. So that's gonna be pretty much it for this install of the flush mount. You guys can hit up Jack Lee for this. I think he charged 190, 150, 190. And uh, when the MPC drop forks come in, I'll definitely pull this out and give you a full walk around so you can see how this looks on the outside. Because you know you gotta hate videos when people do installs, but they don't show you the total outcome and how it looks like a walk around at the very end. So this is one of those. But we will pull it out Monday, so it'll definitely be a drop a Monday video. Let me know what you guys think or if you have any tips. If you're rocking this, if you have any tips on your install, let me know in the comments. Uh, one more thing, I am going badgeless on this. So you can see here, I just went over, you can kind of see the indents of the holes for the H. But now that it has an indent here, I'm thinking I might need to get a badge there. And I'm thinking the red one. Let me, let me know if you guys think I should rock that red one. And I think I'll leave this guy blank. Keeps the front end a lot cleaner. What you got there? Buffalo pretzels. These are the shears. Well, you want to end the video? Don't give us a peace, dude.